Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Today, we've got a brand new story to share with you. My wife of 10 years has been cheating on me, and our marriage has ended. So this all kicked off in January, but I will give you some background on us. We have known each other for 13 years. I met her when she was working at a bar. We got to talking and I gave her my number before I left. We had our first date three days later and became inseparable from that day, as in, we were together all the time. We moved in together quickly and we were always totally compatible and comfortable with each other. Our morals and core values aligned, and one of the keys was that neither of us ever wanted a divorce, especially if we had kids. She comes from a broken home and hates her father for cheating on her mother and treating his kids, her and his brother, poorly. When she was pregnant with our first, she was homesick, so I finished up where I was working for us to move 1,800 kilometers away, to a place I had never been before. I struggled to find work in my field in the new city, and after our son was born, I was just working retail, and we discussed me studying more to change careers. I got accepted into med school, which meant we had to move again. We moved to another state, and I studied hard while she made friends in our new location. That first year was difficult because she ended up with a cancer scare, and we also had a miscarriage. I stopped studying that year to stay with her and our kid. We got pregnant again while I was back at school, and we had a healthy baby boy he actually was born on the day of my final exam, which I skipped to be with my wife. I went back to study in the new year and completed that year. It was hard being away from them all the time and having to focus on studying so much. My wife now says I was neglecting her and the kids. I always asked her if she was okay and if she needed me to do anything. She never said anything to me, she just complained to her friends. I got myocarditis from the COVID vaccine and also, when I caught COVID, it fucked me up pretty badly, which ended up with me missing most of a year of study, and then when I was well enough to go back to study, I got a significant spinal injury that has taken surgery and nearly two years of rehab to get me anywhere near being a functional human. I still have chronic, unrelenting pain, but I'm managing. Through all that sickness and injury, my wife decided to first become a fitness instructor, then study to become a personal trainer. She has been working as a PT for 18 months at this point. She got herself fit and has been working on bodybuilding as well. I have always encouraged her to chase her dreams and told her she can do anything, most of the men in her life have never believed in her. She has been away from home more and more over the last six to nine months, always busy. I have become the primary caregiver for our kids because she leaves before they get up and often isn't home until after dinner time. Over Christmas, she was behaving distant and odd towards not just me but the kids as well. We were on holiday, but she was still distressing about work. On January 7th, she sat down on our bed and said she was feeling disconnected from me, we needed to spend more time together. She said she had been texting a guy from her gym for a couple of weeks and felt bad, it was nothing sexual and nothing had happened. We discussed it as a warning, she agreed to us doing counseling, she cuddled into my arms, and we went to sleep. The next day, after further questioning, she admitted it had been sexual, nothing physical. She agreed that she would need to stop communicating with the guy, but then decided she didn't want to after she had been to work and talked to a friend. The next day it came out, it was more like two months, and that was over, and she didn't want to do anything to help our relationship. She said she would be moving out. She went off and slept with the guy the next day, when she was meant to be looking after the kids. When that guy who was in his early twenties, my wife is in her mid-thirties, and I'm forty-two, dumped her a week or two later, she decided we should at least do some counseling. We started counseling and agreed to a trial separation, we wouldn't tell the kids, she would continue to sleep in the spare room, and we agreed to no dating or bringing anyone else into the situation. We agreed to six months of trial and counseling for us individually and as a couple. We both started reading self-help books and exchanging the ones we had read. We discussed things we found applied to us. Things were getting better, we were almost like friends again. Then she started acting weird again, to me and the kids. She had been talking to a client of hers at the gym when a guy came up and said he had been through a divorce and could give her advice. He gave her his number. This blew up over Easter because she had been hiding it, once again breaching the limited trust one had in her. Before I knew about it, she actually left the home and the kids to go clear her head. She actually went and spent two hours with this guy. From what she has told me, this guy is older than me, has a 12-year-old son he only sees once a fortnight, and has been separated for seven years. To cut a very long story short, everything has gone back to shit and is actually worse than it has ever been. 
I don't trust a word she says, she has become totally unreliable where the kids are concerned, and she used to be all about them, her number one priority. She is now intending to date this friend, and from her behavior, she has also started a sexual relationship with him already. I'm looking after the kids 80-85% to 85 of the time, she is rarely at home, and when she is, she puts in minimal effort for them and their care, I had to duck out to the shops, and when I got home, she had given the little one ice cream for dinner. Her deviousness in general is self-centered at best, totally narcissistic at worst. She doesn't care how much pain she has already caused, she blames me for not being a safe space for her to open up. Her memory has also become totally screwed, she forgets things and has done none of the things for the kids she said she would. My parents are concerned about her, as her personality has totally changed. Her family isn't really aware of what has been happening because she doesn't talk to them about it in detail, all she has is her gym buddies telling her to stay strong and she will get through it. My life is in a shambles, the person I believed in and trusted the most has turned her back not just on me but on our kids. I keep it together as best I can, but I struggle. I'm lucky my parents are nearby so they can come and help. I also don't have a lot of social support nearby because all my friends are now busy doctors or live in different states. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more stories like this. See you next time.